What is negative time? In classical physics, time is always positive and moves forward. However, in the realm of quantum mechanics, things can get a bit more complex. Negative time refers to a situation where certain processes appear to occur in reverse or take less than zero time. This doesn't mean time travel in the science fiction sense, but rather a peculiar behavior observed in quantum systems. Recent experiments Researchers at the University of Toronto conducted experiments where they observed photons, particles of light, interacting with atoms. When photons pass through a medium, they can excite atoms to a higher energy state. Normally, these atoms would then return to their original state after a certain period. However, in these experiments, the time measured for this process was found to be negative 12. How does it work? Imagine a scenario where cars enter a tunnel. If we measure the time it takes for the first car to exit, it might seem like it exited before it even entered. This is analogous to what the researchers observed with photons and atoms. The atoms appeared to be in an excited state before the photons interacted with them one. Quantum mechanics and group delay. This phenomenon is related to the concept of group delay in quantum mechanics, where the interaction of light with certain materials can cause the light to slow down or even appear to move backward. This doesn't violate the laws of relativity because it's a result of the probabilistic nature of quantum particles too. Implications and skepticism. While the idea of negative time is intriguing, it's important to note that it doesn't imply time travel or any violation of fundamental physical laws. It's a manifestation of the strange and often non-intuitive behavior of quantum systems. Some physicists, like Sabine Hossenfelder, argue that the term negative time might be misleading and prefer to describe it as phase shifts in the path of photons 3. Conclusion Negative time is a concept that challenges our classical understanding of time and highlights the peculiarities of quantum mechanics. It's a reminder of how much there is still to learn about the fundamental nature of reality. Time dilation is a concept from Einstein's theory of relativity. It describes how time can slow down or speed up depending on the relative velocity between observers or the presence of a strong gravitational field. There are two main types of time dilation. Special relativity, when an object moves at a significant fraction of the speed of light relative to an observer, time appears to slow down for the moving object from the perspective of the observer. This is known as Lorentz time dilation. General relativity, in the presence of a strong gravitational field, time appears to slow down relative to an observer in a weaker gravitational field. This is known as gravitational time dilation. Negative time and quantum mechanics. Negative time, as discussed earlier, is a phenomenon observed in quantum mechanics where certain processes appear to occur in reverse or take less than zero time. This is not related to the relativistic effects of time dilation, but rather to the probabilistic and non-intuitive behavior of quantum particles. Key differences. Origin, time dilation arises from the principles of relativity, while negative time is observed in quantum mechanical experiments. Context, time dilation is a macroscopic effect observed in high-speed travel or strong gravitational fields. Negative time is a microscopic effect observed in quantum systems. Implications, time dilation has practical implications for GPS satellites and high-speed travel. Negative time challenges our understanding of quantum interactions but doesn't have direct macroscopic applications. Connecting the concepts. While time dilation and negative time are distinct, they both highlight the non-intuitive nature of time in different physical contexts. Time dilation shows how time can vary based on speed and gravity, while negative time reveals the strange behaviors of particles at the quantum level. No direct influence, the concept of negative time is not something we experience in our daily activities. It doesn't affect how we perceive time or how time flows in our macroscopic world. Technological applications, while negative time itself might not have direct applications, the research and understanding of quantum mechanics can lead to advancements in technology. For example, quantum computing and quantum communication are fields that could revolutionize technology in the future. Scientific curiosity, understanding phenomena like negative time helps scientists develop a deeper understanding of the universe. This knowledge can eventually lead to new theories and technologies that might indirectly impact our lives. 
Comparison with time dilation. Unlike time dilation, which has practical implications for technologies like GPS, where the effects of relativity must be accounted for to ensure accuracy, negative time remains a more theoretical concept within the realm of quantum mechanics. Conclusion While negative time is a fascinating concept that challenges our understanding of quantum mechanics, it doesn't have a noticeable effect on our everyday lives. However, the ongoing research in this area contributes to the broader field of physics, potentially leading to future technological advancements. A wave function, denoted as psi x t psi x t describes the quantum state of a particle. The probability of finding a particle at position x to particle time t is given by the square of the wave function's magnitude psi x t 2 x t 2 2 Schrodinger equation The time-dependent Schrodinger equation is a fundamental equation in quantum mechanics that describes how the wave function evolves over time. i del psi x t del t equals h caret psi x t i del t del e x t equals h caret psi x t challenging classical ideas negative time challenges classical notions of causality and the flow of time in classical physics time is always positive and moves forward however in quantum mechanics the observation of negative time suggests that certain processes can appear to occur in reverse or take less than zero time 12. 2. quantum communication and computing the phenomenon of negative time could have significant implications for quantum communication and computing by understanding and controlling the interactions between photons and atoms, researchers can potentially improve the efficiency and speed of quantum memory and communication systems 1. This could lead to advancements in Quantum cryptography, enhancing the security of data transmission Quantum networks, improving the reliability and speed of quantum information transfer 3. Group delay and light matter interaction Negative time is closely related to the concept of group delay in wave propagation. When light passes through a medium, its speed is affected, causing a delay. In certain conditions, this delay can become negative, meaning the light appears to exit the medium before it should one. This has implications for Optical devices, designing materials and devices that can manipulate light in novel ways. Signal processing, developing techniques to manage and utilize negative group delays in communication systems. For fundamental physics and quantum mechanics. The observation of negative time provides new insights into the behavior of quantum systems and the nature of time itself. It highlights the non-intuitive and probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics, where particles like photons can exhibit behaviors that defy classical expectations 23. This can lead to New theories, developing new theoretical frameworks to better understand quantum phenomena. Experimental techniques, innovating methods to probe and measure quantum interactions more precisely. 5. Philosophical implications. Negative time also raises philosophical questions about the nature of time and reality. It challenges our understanding of causality and the linear progression of time, prompting deeper discussions about the fundamental nature of the universe too. Conclusion While negative time is a theoretical concept observed in quantum mechanics, its implications are far-reaching. It challenges classical ideas, offers potential advancements in quantum technology, and provides new insights into the nature of time and reality. As research continues, we may uncover even more applications and understandings of this fascinating phenomenon. Arrow of Time The arrow of time refers to the one-way direction or asymmetry of time. It is the idea that time flows in a single direction, from the past to the future. This concept is closely tied to the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the entropy, disorder, of an isolated system always increases over time. Here are a few key points. 
Thermodynamic arrow. This is the most commonly discussed arrow of time, based on the increase of entropy. It explains why we see processes like ice melting or eggs breaking, but not the reverse. Cosmological arrow. This refers to the direction of time in relation to the expansion of the universe. As the universe expands, time moves forward. Psychological arrow. This is our subjective experience of time, where we remember the past, but not the future. Negative time in quantum mechanics. Negative time, as observed in quantum mechanics, refers to situations where certain processes appear to occur in reverse or take less than zero time. This is a result of the probabilistic and non-intuitive behavior of quantum particles, such as photons interacting with atoms. Relationship between negative time and the arrow of time. Microscopic versus macroscopic, negative time is a phenomenon observed at the quantum level, while the arrow of time is a macroscopic concept. The arrow of time is driven by the increase of entropy in large systems, whereas negative time deals with the peculiar behaviors of individual particles. Time reversal symmetry. In quantum mechanics, time reversal symmetry implies that the fundamental equations remain unchanged if time is reversed. This symmetry allows for the possibility of negative time. However, at the macroscopic level, the arrow of time breaks this symmetry due to the irreversible increase of entropy. No violation of causality, negative time does not imply a violation of causality or the possibility of time travel. It is a manifestation of phase shifts and group delays in quantum systems. The arrow of time, on the other hand, ensures that cause precedes effect in our everyday experience. Conclusion While negative time and the arrow of time are related to our understanding of time, they operate in different realms. Negative time is a quantum mechanical phenomenon that challenges our classical intuition, whereas the arrow of time is a macroscopic concept driven by entropy. Both concepts highlight the complexity and richness of time in different physical contexts. University of Toronto Experiments Researchers at the University of Toronto, led by Daniela Angulo and Ephraim Steinberg, conducted a series of experiments to investigate the interaction between photons and atoms 12. Setup and Methodology Photon-atom interaction, the experiments involve directing photons through a medium containing atoms. When photons pass through the medium, they can be absorbed by the atoms, putting the atoms into an excited state. The atoms then return to their ground state by re-emitting the photons. Measurement of excited state duration, the researchers measured the time duration that atoms remained in their excited state. Surprisingly, they found that this duration was negative, meaning the atoms appeared to be in an excited state before the photons interacted with them. Results and Interpretation Negative Time The measured time for the atoms to stay in the excited state was less than zero, indicating negative time. This result was akin to observing cars exiting a tunnel before they entered it. Quantum Mechanics Explanation The phenomenon was explained through the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics, where particles like photons do not follow strict classical rules but exhibit a range of possible behaviors. 2. Laser Experiments The Toronto team also conducted laser experiments to further explore the concept of negative time 12. Setup and Methodology Laser Calibration The experiments required precise calibration of lasers to avoid distorting the results. The lasers were used to excite the atoms and measure the interaction times. Optimization, the experiments took over two years to optimize, ensuring that the measurements were accurate and reliable. Results and interpretation. Negative group delay, the experiments demonstrated negative group delay, where the light appeared to exit the medium before it entered. This was a manifestation of the phase shifts and dispersion properties of the medium. Relativity intact, the researchers emphasized that these results did not imply time travel or any violation of relativity. Instead, they highlighted the peculiar behavior of quantum particles. Implications The experiments conducted by the University of Toronto team provide compelling evidence for the existence of negative time in quantum systems. These findings challenge classical notions of time and causality, offering new insights into the behavior of quantum particles. Conclusion the evidence for negative time comes from carefully designed quantum experiments that reveal the non-intuitive and probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics.
While these results do not imply time travel or a fundamental shift in our understanding of time, they open up new avenues for exploring the mysteries of quantum physics. That was all. Goodbye.